There is high tension in the streets of St. Louis for the third night in a row. Protesters and police clashing after the acquittal of a white officer in the shooting death of a black man. ABC's Kenneth Moten is on the scene in St. Louis. Good morning, Kenneth. Good morning, George. This city is bracing for another day of protest. Vandals hit several businesses. This window already boarded up. You can see the shattered glass here. New demonstrations sparked overnight after the Department of Justice revealed it would not pursue federal charges in that police shooting. Overnight, at least 80 protesters arrested as chaos broke out on the streets of St. Louis. Businesses vandalized. Tonight, we made more than 80 arrests. We confiscated at least five weapons. None of them were used. Some criminals assaulted law enforcement officers and threw chemicals and rocks at them. Police say they confiscated these bottles filled with unknown chemicals that were used as weapons against them. Protesters say they're filled with vinegar used to treat pepper spray victims. The violence ignited by a judge's acquittal of ex-police officer Jason Stockley and the 2011 killing of a black man, Anthony Lamar Smith. The officer testified Smith had a gun and told the St. Louis dispatch his life was threatened. I did not murder Anthony Lamar Smith. I did not plant a gun. I can tell you with absolute certainty that there was no plan to murder Anthony Smith during a high-speed vehicle pr uh, pursuit. That pursuit caught on a dash cam. Stockley and his partner approached, then chased the suspect who crashed into a telephone pole. Stockley heard saying, quote, we're killing this expletive. The officer soon opened fire, hitting Smith five times. We have to come up with something better. This cannot consistently happen. During the day, thousands peacefully protested. Star Nick Cannon joining demonstrators. At least after these three nights of destruction, we know that 120 suspects were arrested. Also, more than a dozen officers injured. This weekend, big concerts were canceled. Singer Ed Sheeran, also the rock band U2, they called off their performances because of security concerns, Robin. Very tense times. All right, Kenneth, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.